Hallelujah, praise Master Jesus. God bless each and every one under the sound of my voice, for in Jesus' name, the Bible says, This is a new day the Lord has made, that we should rejoice and be glad. Once more, I bring us God's fresh world. This particular prophetic word I to say, someone is having hard time coping with what they did to you. I take it again. Someone is having hard time coping with what they did to you. You might be coming across this particular prophetic word that maybe you have seen such a title somewhere, but believe me, there is another revelation or something that God will be revealing to you through this particular title in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, if you're coming across this channel for your very first time, God bless you. I am the man the Lord is using to subscribe. I am the, the, the gatekeeper, the person that God is using to bring us his words every day. Please, can we do it to subscribe to become part of this prayer house family? So together, whenever I'm live or whenever I upload any of our prophetic word, we will be on that. We will be notified. God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. At the particular place of prayers, the Lord gave me this word that someone is having hard time. Hallelujah. The Lord says, this hard time is a payback time. Yes, hard time coping with what they did to you. These are some groups of people. These are people that wronged you. These are people that fought you. These are people that wanted you to go down. These are people who never wanted to see you rise. We all know that in life, there is one thing I always tell people. As human, we all have 5% of jealousy in us. Hallelujah. No matter who you are, no matter who you are, you can only pretend, you can only lie, but we all have 5% of jealousy in us. As a man, as a woman, as a pastor or whatever, we all have 5% of envy in us. Now, but we are the one to control the envy, not to excel in, in a way that we might use it in bad in the life of, of any person. So this particular person that this prophetic word is going to, the Lord is telling you, you have been through a lot. A lot of people have fought you. They have fought you. They have held a lot of things in your life uh, down. They have stood in front of you as an obstacle, as a barrier, as a limitation for quite a long time. And you have been asking yourself this question, Father, for how long am I going to be passing through this same condition? That has been your question, your question and your cry. But there is one thing I love. The Bible says, we've been endured. For a night, surely joy coming. So no matter how you cry, always know that your morning sun will surely rise. No matter how hard the mountain you, you are climbing or high is, know that one day you will surely descend. Let's look in the Bible. Let's look at Apostle Paul. Saul that was fighting the church. Hallelujah. In Corinth, he was attacking God's children. He killed people. He persecuted the body of Christ. But at the end, what happened to Saul? On his way to Damascus, he was arrested. Hallelujah. The Lord arrested Saul. Saul be became an apostle of Jesus Christ. One of an apostle that came last, but he was known popularly. Then at the, at the end of everything, what the apostle did to the, to the Christian, he was persecuting the church. Later on, apostle the, uh, Paul, he was persecuted. Now he was crying. Jesus told him that what you did to the church, you would test it also and feel the pain. What you were doing to others, now the persecution is also in front of you. May you also feel the pains and test it. So one thing I tell people, a lion cannot give birth to a good. Whatever thing that you're doing in the life of somebody, ask yourself this question. I, Basil, if they were doing the same thing to me, will I be comfortable and will I be happy? That is the first thing I'm asking us. Ask yourself this question. Whatever that anything, anything, before you do anything to somebody, ask yourself this question. What I'm doing to this person, if they do the same thing to me, will I be happy? Before you judge any person, ask yourself this question. If I was the one that committed this crime, will I have judged myself this way? There are times that we commit mistakes and we say, oh, it's a mistake. Let me just adv advise myself. Next time, don't do such a thing. But when all that those does the same thing we don't advise them the same way we just carry our mindset of judging them condemning them trying to call them names whereby it's not so in the mighty name of jesus so this particular prophetic word today is going to somebody it's not only a prophetic word it's a word of deliverance and it's a word of teaching someone is having a hard time 
hallelujah, coping with what they did to you is payback time. If you're watching me right now and you know that your life has been in stress, in difficult moment, hallelujah, you have been paying some, you know, and there is one thing for sure. We know ourselves. We can pretend and hide, hide from people, pretending as if nothing is going. We know, we know, we know. Anything of which you are passing through now under the sound of my voice, you know what you did that you are paying in the name of Jesus. Let me share with us a little testimony concerning my life. Once upon a time, I think in the year 23, 24, I was working with a, with a friend of mine Then we were saving money inside a small bank. So we're putting coins that we are going to break the bank in December period. So the day we're breaking the bank, the guy had about five times money more than I. So when he was trying to remove the, the, the money, a coin, 500 coins fell from that bank and and as the coin rolled on the ground, it entered my shoes, my slippers. My shoes, I had to press it with my leg. As I pressed it with my leg, the guy searched for the money all over. He never, he could not see the money. The guy made a decree that no issue. Whosoever that will pick this money will not make any good use with the money. That word spoke on that money. Later on, the guy left. I took the money. I wanted to go and use the money. Something happened. I never used the money. I recharged my phone with some. I ate with some. The, the recharge credit I put. I died his number without knowing. He answered the call until the credit got finished. When I came out, he was like, wow, Bazi, you are not a big man. You just called me. You were not talking. I was hearing how you people were discussing all this type of thing. I knew it in me that the money has been wasted for nothing. Praise Master Jesus. So anything that happened to us, if you look deep into your life personally, you're going to know that you're paying for a crime. Is it the positive you will harvest? Our seed of yesterday is our harvest of today. If you want to harvest good tomorrow, make sure you sow today in the mighty name of Jesus. In your behavior, sow the best character of yours. In your good doings, do the good. Treat people good in the mighty name of Jesus. If you're passing through a hard time, difficult moment, because of what you did yesterday, you must endure and persevere. Ask God for mercy because only God can remove you for in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.